Hey folks, Quilly King here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Surviving Mars, Green City. Oh, end of an era. Our, our final life. founder has just died of old age. Luckily, it's only old age, but yeah. That's some renegades. We got a, a couple issues with a couple people here, but generally speaking, things are going to be better. We've been kind of desperate for electronics for a while, but we were just finally able to expand down here. We have tons of rare metals mines. I mean, heck, there's another one over here with a very high. Can I... No, I can't work this from within the dome. I may have placed these. I don't know. We'll end up with another dome over here. It's going to be okay. Um, and actually, this dome doesn't have access to the vista either. I could have double tapped that. If I just moved over a little, that's actually bad placement. Oh, no. Well, that makes me very sad. I actually could have done that so much better. Work on the cipher now. That's going to be okay. Um, new crops. I'm not really rushing for. Farms increase comfort. We want this. So we can have more bebes going from having a higher comfort. Uh, oh, hold on. You're ready to launch. So let's do that. Uh, I'm no longer... Yeah, we're going to cancel that. We're not going to be shipping off our food for polymers right now. We're actually good on polymers and a little less good on food. So I'm just going to go and... Set this to none and done. I still wouldn't wouldn't mind a few uh, electronics shipments, but I guess that's not in the cards right now. Work slots, residential slots, fairly well balanced. I mean, we're going to be expanding some more, but for now it's okay. Mining is a go, because we're going to want to open up second shift at all these places. But yeah, so we're going to keep sending us some, some people from Earth. We may actually be able to run a university. We don't have the tech for it yet, but maybe. Do you really not have any metal to pick up anywhere? Interesting. The RC transport is actually idle. So we did set up a little uh, job over here. Scanned all sectors, get some free science. Nice. And a final anomaly over here. Okay. That is very lovely. And you get the lower priority set on this metal extractor. It's going to get the last crack at workers, which is okay, because it's sort of a low um, low density ore. You're ready to take off and another shuttle just arrived home. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send another passenger rocket. Launch that. Boom. Keep filling up this dome. And yeah, we'll start to get a trickle of electronics. Resources are low. Well, in electronics, I know, which is gonna cause some, some breakdowns along the way here. If we had a little bit of money, we'd do that, but Oh, what I'm going to do is, oh shoot, what's going on over here? Um, the polymer factory, I'm going to turn off this shift. Oh, it's because we don't have electronics to repair the uh, drone hubs. So if we do get any electronics, they have to be top priority. My RC commander can maintain a few things over here for now. Desperately need money. No one's willing to trade electronics, though. Polymers? Yeah, everyone was all over it. I think we're getting trade requests from everyone for polymers. Um, rare metals. I mean, I could boost this. Well, I guess... Oh, yeah, we don't have the material for it. So getting Factory A on this as soon as possible would be very nice. But yeah, we're gonna have to wait for the electronics to actually start getting produced. Having more people will help. Infowars. Unknown rival streaming propaganda videos at us. Videos in, aimed at inciting discord because several cl class of our colonists. So, oh, um, I guess we'll upset the medics and scientists. Yeah, the workers are going to have to keep working right now so that we can get the electronics going as quickly as possible. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do over here is lower the priority of our research lab so they get less cr last crack at any electronics that get produced get some people down over here Funding received. we exported some rare metals 72 could actually use that to bring a couple of electronics 100 people giving us some science cypher is completed treasure hunt it's a map new planetary anomaly has been discovered x marks the spot send an expedition to the coordinates okay we will... That's not the button I want. We will do that now. Oh, yeah, we got a bunch. Need an RC transport. Yeah, okay. And colonists. I think it's three colonists and an RC transport. I guess that makes sense. 
Let's see what we get out of that. Hopefully it's electronics. And we are producing some here. Yeah, we got one in storage over here. This will get shifted around a little bit. It's set high priority on our uh, drone hubs. Oh, I was supposed to turn on some mods in between episodes. Ah, oh, I forgot to do that. And yeah, I'd love to get the uh, upgrade AI over here. Launch. Treasure hunt, attention required. Expedition landed in mysterious coordinates. Even before the dust settled, the visual telemetry shows a distinct cubical shape not far from the landing zone. It, it becomes apparent that the cube is made of Martian concrete, not unlike the one you've been using for so long. There's no doors or any other protrusions, but after circling around the structure, the expedition discovers a distinct red circular shape that suspiciously looks like a big red button. Press the button! Ground trembles as the walls of the building sink down to reveal a large metal container wrapped in colorful paper and red ribbons. When open, it reveals its precious contents. Inside, there's another box. When open, the box reveals another smaller box. After several hours of unboxing, the expedition reaches a tiny box, inside of which there's a check for an outrageously large sum of money. It was worth it. All right, a billion bucks actually is very worth it because we can send a bunch of electronics. Too bad we just sent a uh, group of passengers. I could spend send just a resupply pod, but that would cost us money, so I would rather not. Machine parts are probably dipping down. We do have some production for it. Uh, except we can't right now because it needs electronics to fix it. And then we need machine parts to maintain the other thing. But yeah, very, very soon we'll, things will be, things will be better. Yeah, both these rockets are just coming home right now. Do, do, do. We can probably run some of the other expeditions as well. Go touchdown over here. Electronics factory needs to be very high priority for getting repairs and things and power and worker And you can probably you can take the rare metals that's gonna be okay Because we're producing rare metals fairly well These are scientists working here at a low priority building interesting Might have something to do with the number of jobs you've got um actually No, actually I'm gonna ship you home because I want to be able to import some electronics and maybe a few machine parts to tide us over So go home first and then this new shuttle that's going to come here with more passengers. Oh, let me move you out of the way. We'll probably run expeditions with you. Um, I'm still going to drop you off here because this is where most of our people are going to want to be. We should probably get some local fuel production here. Because right now we have to bring all the fuel over, which is kind of a pain in the butt. So, yeah, we'll get a fuel refinery built right over here and I suppose what I'll do is I'll also set up a fuel depot uh, let's say right right over here I don't want to keep the fuel next to the domes it feels unsafe so one of these two I don't know which is which I knew that yeah that was the correct one to send because this one here is already mostly loaded with rare metals so we'll get that to go home. While that one goes and expeditionizes. And yeah, we don't have the machine parts here to build this right now. So all the fuel's gotta be shipped over here, which is kinda sucky, but not the worst. Assuming our shuttle hub is still working, and indeed it is not. Um, transport, you are going to come here, grab fuel, and deliver it over here. Otherwise, nothing's ever gonna happen. At least we are still producing some machine parts. Yeah, 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 stealing metal. I'll have to get some security stations. <clears throat> or set up a dome specifically for renegades. With no oxygen. <laughs> it's easy to be really cruel in this game. It's a lot like playing The Sims or something. I don't know. It just it just happens. Oh, we have even more debris building up over here. There are Earthsick colonies. I'm sure there are. All right, here comes the transport loaded down with fuel. Boom, 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 boom. There we are. All 
and you'll deliver some rare metals at the same time, giving us a bit more cash. All right. What we'll probably do over here is set up an automated export for rare metals. Um, which actually makes me think, what we need is a dedicated rare metals storage. And probably a dedicated electronics storage for our production. And then yeah, I'm gonna go and set up another landing pad here. Yeah, a little further off. So we still have some room over here for some things. And one of these will be used for automated shipping of rare metals. You guys are complaining because you have no housing. That is very much true. Um, I'm going to get an apartment over here. Okay, planetary anomaly analyzed, breakthrough, super fungus. I don't know if we're going to use fungus farms. We might. Oh, you have to alternate with some soybeans. Actually, double up on the soybeans over here. So you can raise your fertility quickly. We're almost 25% temperature, which means we're going to be able to start doing um, uh, water production. And yeah, we get two free late prefabs when you finish this as well. All right, ready to land. Um, yeah, land here, because we will have you go after some other anomalies. Colonists are departing. No, they're not going to depart yet. Project Monarch with an RC Dozer. And reveal new technologies or maybe give us a new technology i don't know nearly home i mean electronics is growing it's actually machine parts that's going down the Resources fastest right now although in large part yeah see now we're not going to produce Resources. electronics because we're short on that landscaping nanites is done so we can progress our landscaping progress or projects without doing anything else uh i will put the more applicants because we're hoping that more of them will be specialists I think we'll unlock the Martian University. Maybe make the Martian borns graduate faster and better. There's some extra money. So we need, not that button, this button over here, cargo rocket. I'll still send some electronics. There you go. Seeds are cheap. Launch that. Okay. All right, and then I think we'll be over, we'll be past the danger zone because we should be very self-sufficient. Uh, you want machine parts for food? Or did, no, I'm not shipping away machine parts. I mean, I literally can't. Meteor storm incoming. You're getting ready to ship out. You just need an RC dozer. No free. Oh. Let me turn off your automation. Um, and then if I just stop you here, there you go. You'll teleport in because you are still automatically working at a job. Okay, done and done. Oh, you're still delivering fuel over here, which I think you can stop at this point. There you go. Just, yeah, go and do whatever automated things you think you can do. That's gonna be all right. Some meteors are still whacking things, so occasionally we'll get resources from that. New techs available. Yep, all it did is reveal a ton of text, but I mean, I guess that's fine. Oh, Martian patents, finally. The thing is, it's going to be so low in here. Yeah, 4,500 research for 500 bucks. Super duper not worth it. At some point, we might do it once just to reveal more stuff in the tree, although I'm betting we won't even need to worry about that. So yeah, that's offline, but what we're going to do is we're going to land the rocket here, and I'll actually set up the automated trading with that one. To keep the money flowing. Because rare metal production should be sufficient, especially as we get these work shifts padded out a little bit more. Colonists oh, okay, that's the wrong one, but that's okay. You know, there, you'll be automated. And yeah, you're just going to be an automated trade behavior. So now, if I go Project Revere, which needs six engineers, hopefully we've got. Um, okay, I need, I'm going to rename you uh, to Auto. There we go. So I'll use the other one for the anomaly. And since we have some material now, when uh, you, once you're fixed anyway, I'm gonna go and get some extra shuttle. Oh, inner light! Sitting at your desk, a 
strange light appears in the corner of your vision. Oh, this is the um the one built on the, based on that one Star Trek: The Next Generation thing. I think this is the very first mystery I ever did in any kind of a Let's Play here. So we're not we're not gonna go through reading them because we have seen them before. But it's a very nice little event. It's one of the it's considered an easy one. Um, I think in the end you just encourage dreamers and you build like the dream project. Spoiler alert. Um, so there's really there's really nothing. You just get some stories and you like click some things. I think some of the decisions have a bit of an issue, but yeah, we're seeing mirages. Everything is purple. Dude, everything's purple. I think there's something weird in the, in the water supply. That's all it is. So you'll need some engineers. You're still unloading up some seeds, which um, I actually will go and make sure I've got a seed depot over here. Because again, universal depots don't have room for seeds. So we'll do that. I mean, there's still some machine parts too, which just we just have to wait for some things to get unloaded. But there you go. You've you've been maintained, so you're back working again. That's good. Um, you've got some unemployment. What I'm gonna do is open a second work shift at both of the richer ones. I'm still gonna leave just one work shop work shift on the poorer one over here. So rare metals will come a lot faster when we get oh drones are being low. destroyed over here. Split power grid, hypothermia. Yeah, but you're fixing that, so that's okay. Fix faster. Our colonists are some. And over here, I guess we didn't have enough power stored. And we don't generate power locally over here, so that could be a bit of an issue. Actually, maybe we just, I haven't been looking. We probably aren't generating enough power period. I got a bunch of solar panels over here. They don't need machine parts to maintain, so that's good. And they produce power during the day, which is when your industrial uh, functions require more, more power than anything. There we go. We're once again positive during the day. Now, excess power is good because it does lead to more research. We have that breakthrough. Plus, we want to charge batteries faster, so we may as well, especially since these effectively have, like, no maintenance, just metal, we want to spam lots of these. And then, yeah, we'll have to pay attention at night at what our power uh, situation is. We may have to build more wind turbines. You know, anomalies found. RC commander. Still working over here. Um, what I have to do is my transport has to grab some electronics from here. Load electronics. Excellent. Um, and then you're going to go and deliver, uh, not load, unload. Over here. There we go. Because yeah, there's actually no electronics around here. What we may want to do is build a separate shuttle hub so that um, that one can be maintained separately. You are not the only. Wake up call, no longer offering things, yada yada yada, that's okay. But yeah, if our transporter can get over here, deliver the electronics, then the northern base can start working again. Hopefully you don't get hit by this. Okay, research just petered out. Complete. Uh, research complete, bioengineering, increase the comfort. Okay, farms increase comfort, that's gonna be good for baby making. Interesting, it's taking the ramp instead of that. And then, yeah, once we get the shuttles working again, then I think we will truly have all of our problems uh, fixed up in terms of production. There we go. Oh, that was metals. You having a hard time finding a place to dump it? There you go. Into the universal storage. Thump. Good. And then you're just back on automatic. Yes, you are. Excellent. So high priority. We have the drone hub set to high priority as well as the shuttle hub. There you go. Shuttle hub is working now. So things should flow around once more. All right. We've got vacant work residential slots. We could get more work slots as well if we just open the second shift here. So we will be looking at sending some more folks home or from, from Earth. We're gonna be importing some more people into this dome to open up the second Research electronics shift. Complete. Live from Mars is done, so we'll get more um, applicants as well. So we should have a steady pool of people ready to come here. 
Breakthrough discovered. New concrete. Dome concrete construction costs reduced by 80%. I mean, it's nice. It's not a, it's not a priority. But it's a nice little breakthrough, I guess. It's mostly save us moving a lot of material around. Our education. This this is more colonists at once, which I guess is okay. Actually, what we'll probably do is get the solar panels for the dust cleaning. Um, amplify. I don't know if we need to rush that. Probably the job performance is a good thing to grab. Fewer flaws after a sanity breakdown. I think we may have a few more sanity breakdowns over time here. So we don't have any boosts for you. We could get the factory AI, which I think is worth doing. Spend some resources now. We have just enough to handle it. We'll do you and you over here as well. And you really could use more workers in that building. Oh, you have tons of vacant residential slots. We just don't have enough people. I think a fair number of people have been leaving. Ah, liquid, um, liquid surface water is now possible. Martian education, milestone achieved, and yes, we've got a couple of lake prefabs. So... I don't know if there's anywhere specifically we have to worry about placing it. I don't know if like lakes add beauty in an area. I don't think there's anything like that. Uh, lakes. So small lake prefabs over here. Improves local soil quality proportionally to its water level. Consumes water to fill up. Requires constant refilling due to surface evaporation. Doesn't increase soil quality. Oh, at low temperatures. But so if we are working on the soil quality over here, for example, this seems like the place to maybe build the lakes. And then people can view it from here. Uh, I guess it will still need a pipe. But if I place you here, I can pipe right there. Um, let's spread these out a little bit. There we go. There we go. Two tile wide path in between. Um, they probably need power too. Well, I don't know actually. I guess we'll find out. Uh, what do you got? You got people? Here, I'll land you over here. A little electronic storage, not really a surprise. Milestone achieved. Funding received. Dig a lake. Rare metals, you anomaly analyzed. Oh, 30 free rare metals. Well, that's handy. They'll start to fill up. And yeah, we'll start generating some of this. We're making the ground a little bit better over here, so hopefully we can switch to grasses. Now, grasses needed temperature and water, which we're now working on the water level. So hopefully we get to the point where we can start planting grass over here instead of lichen, because I think the grass self spreads and may produce seeds as well. Oh, you got bopped. Let's go and send an RC rover over here. And we have no anomalies to do right now, right? Any chance we can do some espionage again? Let's say China, we hadn't done in the last wave, so at least there's going to be that. And I don't think the colonists actually have to get here. I think they teleport, so no matter where they are, the officers just get scooped up, just like the RC dozers. Which I'm fine with. Like, but my realism... No, I'm okay with it. Oh, you got smoosh too. All right, well. Oh, and the dozer is done. Yeah, so we got a ramp. So I'm gonna bring the dozer Research somewhere. Personal space. Um, personal space, columns has snapped. All residents will, residences will grant more comfort but less living space. Or all colonists lose comfort. Like, forever? Or just now? You know what, we'll have the residences grant more comfort. It might make it a little hard to like, fill our domes up. But I think it will help keep people quite a bit happier. We stole the low G turbines. That's actually a nice little upgrade. So you're done. What we have to do now is move you to this transporter here so we can fix that thing. Do we have room for a... What I could do is I'm going to get rid of the research lab here and put a security dome here instead. Yeah. Which will also help to maintain their sanity. Anomaly analyzed. During disasters. Okay, anomaly for science, hooray. Uh, yeah, I'll just bring you back somewhere safe. Did it with you. 
And then you're there, you're there, that's good. Okay, so people can leave fairly regularly on our little trade shuttle, but I think that's okay. We've got a little bit of cash, but right now, I mean, we're not super huge on things, but it's working. We're mostly gonna keep trying to bring in more people from Earth because we've got the capacity for it. Hopefully we can keep them a little bit happy. I think we can build the Martian University now. And I will do so. Start to generate some more specialists. That's going to be well, well, well appreciated. Comfort level here is now 65. In the residences. Um, not working shopping. Well, that's just not, not enough people or they're trying to go there at night. Relaxation is full. Oh, you know what? We re yeah, we do not have enough relaxation space for you. Like, technically, we've got some. Because of these small gardens. But yeah, let's build a large garden over here. Cheap to build, cheap to maintain. Boom, done. Uh, we'll run up to two shifts of the Martian University. We could even set a higher priority for it, but I don't think we're quite going to do that. Research complete. Martian-born adaptability, so colonists graduate faster in universities and sanatorium, higher chance of gaining perks from schools. Yeah, we'll want to do sort of a child dome at some point, but we've got to make sure these are up and running properly okay, first. Uh, okay, thank you very much. My mod manager for <laughs> Elder Scrolls Online, letting me know that some of my mods are ready to be updated. I wish I could just like, it's probably a way to generically turn off all notification in Windows. That'd be kind of nice. Okay, I think our shuttle's back home. Passenger rocket, launch. There we go. Resources Full of people online. waiting to become educated. Uh, and yeah, some of these, these names here, those are all Martian-borns. Like, Astro Mercury, definitely Martian-born. There you go. Never become Earthsick. And the Martian-born group of techs improve more things. Workaholics, nice as well. Don't need relaxation either. Uh, low on electronics and machine parts. True. Well, let's open up a second shift here. Um, machine parts, we've already done it, but we don't have enough workers for you yet. No, I could increase the priority, but then other things would sort of suffer. So maybe not. Here, some people would want to see a variety of different animals. So we'll cycle goat, pig, cow. We'll do ostriches later. They have different speeds of producing goods and things. Um, yeah, low on machine parts. I know. We, just, we need more people. Maybe what I can do is turn off the automated stuff. I don't know. It, it is nice to get the steady input of money and not have to, you know, worry about some of this. It's one less thing for me to click. So you're idling your line. I suppose I could give him more terraforming projects just to keep the um, New colonists have little arrived. transporter busy. Like, flattening this thing probably has a lot of value. So let's go ahead and flatten. So yeah, there's a maximum number of hexes, but there's also a maximum sort of physical size. Like, or extents, I should say. Lose some more drones here to meteors. I think we're in a fairly high meteor spot, so I should probably look at getting the MDS at some point. Although, so far, so good. Uh, so you're refueling, which is fine. People only get seven more living spots. We have a lot of empty work slots. Um, so because we do have the extra comfort, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all the living complexes. Like, we have extra comfort and less um, space. So we're going to blow up all the living complexes and replace them all with apartments. Funding received. Oh, rare metals. And you're ready to take off again. All right, so we're going to get some pretty upset people for a little while. I like it. People ask for more living space, and probably they're not going to get what they want in the end. But that's, that's government for you. We're going to pay you lip service, pretend we're going to give you what you want, and then sort of stiff you with, like, Less overall. I mean, the apartments have 65 comfort now. 
Actually, that's pretty good. That is actually pretty good. I think normally the the apartments have what a capacity to twenty four. Maybe twenty eight. Does it double the other thing? I don't remember. Childhood's it's end. So much stronger this time, Leah. So yeah, we're getting a whole series of events. I, I, yeah, I, we have read them before. I'm gonna skip through them this time in the interest of time. Ooh, purple water. Uh, we're low on polymers. We are low on polymers. Yeah, we just didn't have the workers available. I'm gonna open the second work shift here. We'll also assume a factory AI upgrade there, although that's hurting some of our material. We've got enough money, I could shift some resources. Ship some resources and probably will. There we go. See, 26 and 25, it's a pretty good balance. We could end up with one unemployed person over here. Um, if I, you know, don't tweak something else, but that's not a bad ratio by these purple dreaming. It's actually kind of cool, these mirages. And yet, we're gonna encourage people to dream. You've got that. So food's going well again. Okay, I'm gonna switch you back to seeds after all. We do have this ranch, and now I have another farm going on. I think we're gonna be okay food-wise. Colonists are departing. Yeah, they are departing. Funding received. Funding received. And what I'm gonna do is I will send a cargo rocket here. some resources to make sure we don't suddenly run dry on anything. So these lakes are still busy filling up. Oh, we do have negative power right now at night. This is going to hit our machine um, parts a little bit more, but let's go and set up a couple more of these. Upgrading these to the low G turbines would be good, although that would really burn through our polymers quite quickly. Research complete. Dust repulsion, that's really nice for our solar panels, keeps them cleaner. Let's concrete the this, the that. Um, engineering would have like the less out dome maintenance thing. Large storage, if we want to build another manufacturing thing, in domes need less maintenance. Need arcology, 10 more colonists, 10 more colonists. Oh, you can double stack that. Oh, and then you can construct rockets, right. Comfort. It's very expensive, though. Not edible cost at the cost of seeds. I mean, we're gonna want this later. Or maybe we'll unlock the lake crafting so that we can get more. There were just some prefabs, but then we'll be able to make our own as well. All right. Uh, oh, fall into dream. Sweep through the colony. There we go, dreamers. Uh, yeah, so this is a really helpful mystery because it's not difficult to do at all and just gives you bonuses. So we'll appreciate that on our way to terraforming Mars. Wait, that's a board game. Surviving Mars with terraforming of Mars. I think I think we should be able to build a little board game cafe for our, our little colonists to play in. And that's all they're gonna play is terraforming Mars. Folks, thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you guys next time. Bye-bye.